Welcome to this week's Q&A. We've got an interesting question this week from uh, one of our viewers in Thailand and uh, it relates to them purchasing a property off the plan uh, over 18 months ago and the process that's going to ensue now that they're about to settle it. So the question was, we have to come up with, um, with X amount of dollars um, and it's much more than we thought is this usual. So bringing it back down to basics, um, I think it's important that people recognise what happens when you buy a property in Australia off the plan, typically a medium or, or higher density dwelling such as an apartment, because most builders, most developers will, uh, will ask for a 10% deposit initially when someone contracts to buy that property and then nothing more needs to be paid until the property is completed and it's ready for settlement. Now that's when it becomes interesting because for a lot of people that means they then have to come up with the balance uh, 10% if they're obtaining an 80% loan to value ratio loan from their lender or their bank. Um, but if they're an Australian expat quite often the LVR may be less so they may need to actually inject 30% into that purchase price as opposed to 20%. So they would then have to come up with another 20% prior to them being able to settle that property. Um, and that can be an impost if you're not uh, aware of this. And of course everyone should be aware of this because it's in the contract when you look to purchase something. Um, and then if you've liaised with your bank or your lender, you know what's going to happen. So in this instance, of course, um, this, this person was a client and it was much easier for them because we arranged an 85% LVR loan for them and they don't have to pay any mortgage insurance to the lender. So they only have to come up with an extra 5%. So if they buy a property for a million dollars, uh, they've put in their 100,000 up front as a deposit and now 18 months later when they go to settle that property all they need to find is an extra $50,000 plus stamp duty and other costs that are associated with any normal property purchase transaction. So something that's really important and it's worth bearing in mind because for many people living around the world, so Aussie expats are spread everywhere in different jurisdictions, there are different ways that you buy a property off the plan and in many Asian nations uh, you make ongoing payments to the, the property developer along the way. So it varies depending on where you buy the property but for Australian property that's generally speaking how that happens and if you need any assistance with this or you find that you might be stuck coming up towards settlement time with your property then please reach out, uh, email us or call us and I'm sure we'll be able to actually assist you with that. If this has been of interest to you, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click like. I'm, I'm Andrew Unterweger from Wise Guru. I'll see you next week.